I like to show you how to use the Tascam 414 recorder. It's a four track recorder and it's very simple to use. How to record tracks on it is uh, pretty easy. What you have to do is you set your input to mic slash line get your faders the way you want them then you go up here to record and that light means it's recording now you want to check your levels of your recording to make sure they're not too distorted or too high because if they're too high they're not going to come out good and uh, they're not going to sound too good now when you're done recording that track what you do is you turn this on to tape and then you can hear your playback put this, put this to safe turn this on to mic slash line then what you do is you put your lead guitar in after you get your vocal in. Now your guitar may have to be adjusted according to the mix. If your rhythm guitar is up that high and it sounds good, that's fine. That's why you usually leave mine. But your lead guitar might have to be adjusted about there. Because if you put it any higher than that, it's going to distort and overload. So you put this track to record. Push the record on the cassette again. And then you record your lead track into channel 2. After you're done recording, turn this off to safe. Turn this on tape. And now you got your mic and your guitar in. Now you put your drum machine in. I usually do it all three tracks at once. Is how I do it. Then you, after you get done recording three tracks, you put these on tape. And you, you mix them in your recording program. Now, if you make a mistake, here's what you do. You rewind the tape to the beginning, or wherever you started, and then you just record over the tracks, all three of them. Or four of them, if you have a bass guitar, you plug in a bass in track four. And you would use all four tracks, and it would still go on the cassette, uh as a usual recording would. But you have to remember to turn these to safe when you're done recording so you don't record over the tracks. Because when I first started using this, that's what I, exactly what I did. And I had to do the whole recording over again. Now these controls here, you have to keep on mic because if you put them on line input you're not going to hear anything coming through and channel 4 I don't use channel 4 but I will someday when I get a bass guitar that's when I'll use channel 4 now your EQ effects has to be set in the middle for the natural sound they have to be set in the middle because if you don't set them all the way in the middle they won't sound right effect tape I wouldn't worry about that because that's just for effect pedals and um, if you're doing like a heavy metal type of music that would be good for that but not for country like me <laughs> it wouldn't sound too good now what you have here is your monitor output this basically controls your headphone volume of how loud you want your headphones to be 
when you're recording, you turn the speakers off and the subwoofer off when you're recording. When you're mixing, you have to do it through speakers. Which is a lot easier that way because you can get your you can get your final mix down of your recordings. So this is uh, basically all, and um, I hope this video helps you out a little bit and teaches you about multi-track recording. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.